got Owen Malik, we've got Jill Duffy, we've got Harry McCracken. We're going to talk about the future of messaging. We read a great story on Wired Magazine, actually kind of caught my uh, interest about uh, messaging. Actually, I thought this would be kind of a fun one to start with. Uh, it's author David Pierce uh, says, can we just decide to have one messaging platform that we all use? Um, I, I feel like the next big thing, there it is. Kill the ad. It says, screw texting. It's time to pick a universal messaging app. In the States, we use SMS. Uh, but there are a lot of apps vying for our attention. And when you hear that his, you know, uh, Facebook paid $22 billion for WhatsApp, I think a lot of people in the U.S. were, were puzzled by that. Like, how could that be worth that much? But in fact, outside of the States, these apps are dominant. Uh, Pierce talks about WeChat. WeChat is huge. In China, half a million active users. And he points out it's more than just messaging. I mean, it, there's, there are WeChat stars. There is YouTube or Instagram stars or Vine stars. That people buy train tickets. They get their laundry done. They'll, uh, they do everything. They live in WeChat, which I haven't had that experience. Same thing in uh, Japan with Line. Line is amazing. People live online. It really is sort of an all-inclusive platform. You play games on that. You order pizza on it. We are, meanwhile, in the States, kind of in a situation, I guess kind of as uh, instant messaging was in the early days, where there's people on ICQ, there's people on AIM, there's people on uh, Microsoft Messenger. There's no unified platform. Is that the, do you think, uh, this, uh, this is the question I'll pose to you all, is, the, is that the next big thing, I mean, messaging? I feel like all of us would like one platform that just does it all. No? I agree with all that interoperability would be nice, but we've been waiting for it since the 1990s. Maybe that's what's missing, is that there isn't, there, that if, if we all use the same platform, we could all be speaking the same language. I don't, I really, I thought you guys would all join me and we could all team up and create a movement to all use whatever, but that's, what would it be? I mean, I don't want it to be Facebook. I don't want Facebook to win, I guess that's the problem. Talk a lot about, you know, the next big thing. Being virtual reality and stuff like that. Messenger messaging platforms seem like kind of a mundane subject, and yet that's to me that seems like there is a battle raging of kind of between these big companies. And because there's no incumbent, there's no big winner. It's going to be very interesting. The other, the other, you mentioned behavior, and I think that that's part of this too. Is human behavior is changing. We don't make phone calls as much as we used to, and email has failed us as a way of communicating. I think that we email is better, truly federated, cross-platform, interoperable, and everybody hates it. <laughs> so it feels like there should be something.